Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday, May 20th. If you didn't hear yesterday, the governor is uh, relaxing some of the uh, stay-at-home order. Things are going to really start to look different, I hope, in the next week or so. Of course, some things have already started to change. I hope you're doing well. I know it's been raining a lot the last few days. I'm getting kind of tired of it myself. Hopefully, rain clears out and we get some sunshine here in the next few days. I know it's supposed to warm up, which I'm really excited about. I hope you are excited about it, too, because we've waited a long time for summer to get here. But it's coming. Uh, yeah, the other day, I was reading from the book of Philippians, and I came across a verse that I'd read, I don't know how many times before, but it was one of those times where it just popped out at me as to what it was really saying, what Paul was really saying, because up until yesterday, I just kind of glazed over it. You know, I knew it was there, but I didn't, I didn't really fully understand what it was talking about or what it was referencing. And it's found in Philippians 3, if you have your Bible, uh, go ahead and open it up and we'll read it in a minute. But don't you just love it how active and alive the Bible truly is that we can read something over and over and over again and continue to get different things out of it each time. Uh, it, it just astounds me as we progress through life that at different points in our lives, different parts of the Bible really stick out to us. You know, when, when we're kids, maybe some things don't really mean a lot to us, especially in the parts where it talks about maybe parenting or about um, maybe adult responsibilities, things like that. But as you grow up, you know, different parts of the Bible just stick out to you more. And I just love that that's the reality, that God's Word is so alive that we can read it over and over again and continue to learn and grow uh, as people as we absorb all that His Word has to offer us. And so we're in Philippians 3. I said that already. Uh, we're looking at verses 15 and 16. And so Paul writes, All of us, then, who are mature should take such a view of things. And if on some point you think differently, that too God will make clear to you. Only let us live up to what we have already attained. Now in Philippians 3, Paul is talking about where our confidence is found. Uh, he he lays a list out in the middle or towards the beginning of the chapter of some attributes of his that that qualify him to be about as as Israelite as possible. You know, born on or uh, circumcised on the eighth day, born of the tribe of Benjamin, um, a, a, a Pharisee. <laughs> Sorry, I, I lost it there. A Pharisee that he was so zealous for God's word, and, and he goes on. <clears throat> And the verses following that, just saying how everything that he counts as gain, or that he might count as gain, so that some people might count as gain, you know, his his status as a Pharisee and, and the ranks of Israelite culture, um, the, the, the authority that he had, the power that he possessed, all of that, it doesn't count anymore because Christ's sacrifice is so much more, is, is so much more valuable, so much more... Uh, prevalent in his life, and, and nothing compares to what Christ did on that cross for him. And so he's saying that, you know, if you're mature, you should take such a view of things, that, that the way that we uh, live our lives should be reflective that we value Christ more than anything else in this world. But what really pointed out to me was verse 16. That, that what really stuck out to me was verse 16. It says, only let us live up to what we've already attained. I never really understood what that meant. I just always glazed over it. But what, what the Holy Spirit spoke to me yesterday and, and what this is talking about is that, you know, we're, we're all at different parts of our walk with Christ. We're all at different levels, so to speak, of our knowledge of what God wants us to do. And that's what Paul's calling us to, because it's one thing to have knowledge of something. Now, you can know a bunch of information, but what Paul is calling us to is to live up to your knowledge. Because I know that I should love everybody as Christ loved me. I know that. I know that I should forgive everybody that does me wrong because Christ forgave me. Therefore, I should find no problem forgiving others. I know 
that everybody needs to hear the gospel in order to go to heaven. You know, that our, our mission is to spread the word and help people know Jesus more. I know that. And I'm willing to bet that a lot of you know those things as well. But how often do we really live up to that? You know, we've, we've attained this level of knowledge, but we don't always live up to, to living it out. There are times and time again throughout Scripture where it says live out your faith or, or you know, express your faith. Live this way of life that Jesus has called you to, but we just don't for whatever reason. And that's really what, what Paul's saying here is that you know, we all have this knowledge of who Jesus is. He's the Messiah, the Son of God, that, that he's in heaven on his throne and that he has called us to do certain things. The biggest one and the main one is to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I've commanded you. But how often do we do that? How often do we live out what we know to be true? I know for myself, I struggle with that sometimes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. I, I struggle with living up to what I know to be true, to, to living up to that level I've attained as Paul describes it. And so as we continue to go through this quarantine, as things start to open up, I, I hope that I have more opportunities to live out what I know to be true. That, that more and more opportunities open to me, and I hope that they open up to you too, that we can learn to forgive those that have done us wrong, that we can learn to love everybody as Christ loved us, and that we can spread the gospel because we know just how powerful it is. You know, it, it changes everything. So as, as things start to open up and, and hopefully in the next few weeks and few months we get back to normal life to some degree, you know, it's, it's really up to us to live up to that which we have attained, which for some of us might be quite a bit. You know, I went to Bible college. I know a lot of what the Bible says, not to say that I know everything by any means, because like I said, I was reading Philippians. I've read Philippians I don't know how many times and this popped out to me. So I have a lot to learn as well. But it's just living out what we know to be true and being faithful to what God is calling us to do. It's that simple, but it's really not that easy, is it? So let's continue to pray, continue to work um, towards being who God wants us to be. And with God, all things are possible. Uh, he, he can... Help us do whatever he is calling us to do. He equips us all that he is called. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, for your guidance, your wisdom that it shows us and opens our eyes to. Father, we, we thank you for your love and your forgiveness, your grace you show us every day. But Father, help us to do those things to the people around us, to be your hands and feet to a world that needs you. Father, help us to live up to that which we have already attained so that others can see just how amazing you are. We thank you for all the blessings you've given us. We thank you most of all for Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. I love you guys.